In the high-tech world of power generators, solar panels have always been the hottest, the most attractive. They don't have those unsightly chimneys or nuclear cooling silos, just sleek black panels capturing the sun's rays. But soon, traditional solar panels could clearly become one of the ugly ducklings of the power world. And when I say clearly, I mean it. Solar panels have been around since the 1950s. We put them on rooftops to collect sunlight and turn that sunlight into usable electricity. They're not always pretty to look at, but they work. The challenge has been the cost. It takes a whole lot of solar panels to generate enough electricity to power a home or building. So researchers at Michigan State University in Lansing have been working hard to figure out an alternative to traditional solar panels. I spoke with MSU research scientist, Dr. Richard Lunt, about his invisible innovation to harness the sun's energy. Hi there, Richard. Good to see you. Hey, it's great to be here, Mo. My understanding is that we continue using fossil fuels over solar power because solar power is still too expensive to convert into usable power. That's exactly right. There's enough solar energy to power the whole world many thousands of times, but we just don't do it because it costs too much. In the 1970s, scientists discovered that you can trap the sun's energy in glass or plastic using special colored dyes that absorb light rays and direct them to the edges of a glass plate, where attached solar cells can convert the light's energy into electricity, in this case, to power a small fan. Imagine if all the glass in your home could be a power source, just like this glass plate. Unfortunately, you'd have to color coat or dye every window in your house to produce significant energy, so your view would be tinted green, yellow, or red. Dr. Lunt's challenge was to develop a dye for glass that could absorb a lot of light and still let you see outside. In other words, a clear dye. This required some crazy chemical engineering. I heard that you and your students design new molecules for your clear solar panels. How do you even do that? <laughs> So you rely on inspiration from nature, and you take molecules that we have found, and we try to make them do something new and exploit those properties to make a new kind of application, a new kind of solar cell. After two years of experimentation, Dr. Lunt and his team have discovered a formula for creating a clear light energy absorbing dye. As of now, a glass plate painted with Dr. Lunt's clear dye absorbs about 20% of the light that hits it. Do you envision a future where glass buildings power themselves? Absolutely. Even with the metrics that we are able to achieve today, this looks like a very good energy savings, saving some buildings as much as 10 to 50% of their energy consumption. It won't be the only solution, but we see it as being a very important solution. Thanks, Richard. I think we all look forward to homes that come with power windows as standard equipment. Thanks, Mo.